Hello, Todd Bog here with Breaking the Stream, and welcome to a new Let's Play of Conquest of Elysium 5. Uh, the last playthrough we did was the Senator playthrough, so if you haven't checked it out, highly recommend it. Uh, we did show off a lot of what the Senator can do, and how to play them in the, uh, the late game. Uh, which, uh, spoiler, is going to be mages, mages, and mages. Uh, because they're going to be the turning point, especially against a lot of other armies that have a much stronger endgame. So... Uh, but, yeah, uh, check it out. Um, but we're going to be starting a new series, and that series today is going to be the Dryad Queen. Uh, I was waiting a little bit because I was waiting for the latest update, um, and 5.13 came out. Didn't make any changes to the Dryad Queen. I know a lot of people have been asking for a pass on that one. So, uh, you know, they may update it. Uh, generally, my luck is they'll update it after I finish my playthrough, <laughs> but that's that's A-OK. -okay. Uh, that's what happened with my Barbarian playthrough. Anyways, uh, we're going to play with our usual settings. Large map. I debated this, right? I want to show it off. So I'm going to hit random. Um, ideally, you want dark ages or agricultural. Uh, those generally will have more ancient forests, uh, which would uh, simplify your game a bit. Um, oh, yeah. There we go. So I'm hitting plus uh, on my keyboard to change all the difficulties at once. We play on the count difficulty. Uh, as always, this will be a beginner-friendly playthrough and played to completion. Uh, so we play against six AI AIs. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select our druid. Uh, not druid, sorry. Our dryad queen. Uh, there she is. So dryad queens are um, basically uh, what you think. They're, they're dryads. Uh, they're one with nature, but they have a lot of the Greek mythology instilled in their uh, forces. So uh, in the Sacred Groves of Gaia, wild half-men appear. They're undisciplined, but can be armed and trained. So you're going to get free units, and those units can be upgraded to be even better and things like that. So, um, so the way it works is you don't buy troops, um, including at most special locations. Uh, instead, satyrs, harpies appear for free in Sacred Groves. You'll also have access to centaurs and minotaurs uh, and things like that. Um, but in order to get those, you need to have the right commanders in play. So this is going to be very luck dependent on having the right commanders show up and being able to use those commanders to get these troops. But essentially, you'll get the troops for free, and then you can upgrade them using iron and gold. Um, so uh, you can start equipping them with better weapons, training them, that kind of thing. Um, so as you can see, it can be upgraded. Collects herbs from the forest, and we then can use that to summon animals. So the animals are going to be useful in the early game, and they're going to be completely worthless in the late game. So we have to make sure we uh, take advantage early on as well. Unique random players to so ensure uh, a good chance of getting some different uh, AI, so you can see how it plays against a bunch of different ones. So I'm going to hit OK here. All right. Let's see how we go. All right, so we'll go through a quick overview of what we have. Um, so as you can see, we start uh, with a sacred grove. And on that sacred grove, we're getting six herb, um, which is our special income. No gold, though, so that's important to note. Movement cost, citadel, so the, all the usual things you can recruit. We also start with the farm, which gives us a gold and an herb. Um, next to us, we have a coastal hamlet, so we'll be able to take that. Another ancient forest. That's actually really good for us. Um, so that's that's a fantastic start here. Uh, so start off, we are the Dryad Queen. We get Command Beast, so that's really good. It's a charm for uh, animals. Um, the key thing is magic resistance does negate easily. So let's see. If I want spiders, their magic resistance is only three. So there's a good chance that we can do uh, that charm. Um, but anyways, yes. So our Dryad Queen is not a fighter. Um, she's got two attacks, uh, fists and hooves, and they do one to three damage each. If uh, you're new, again, uh, when you see a plus two, it doesn't add to the damage. What it does is it changes the max roll. So one to three. So one to one plus two becomes one to three as well. Um, useful because if you give her a weapon, then that plus two will carry over to the weapon, and the weapon determines what damage is done. So fists, you only do one damage because it's weak. Um, we got spells. Command Beast allows us to charm animals, so that's going to be very useful to buff up our forces for free, essentially. Animate Tree is another great one, so we can bring the trees to life to fight. So as long as we stay to forest, uh, we'll be much stronger than uh, than might be necessary or might 
uh, seem when you do your initial analysis. Confusion and strength. So those are all fantastic. That's all I want. Uh, you also have these special abilities here. Very important for your commanders. She's a ritual caster. We'll show you what that means. She boosts satyrs. So satyrs um, will appear in greater numbers when she's here at the uh, thing. She's a battle fast. Um, has all plus two. So uh, we'll, we'll explain what that is when we get to it. Fast healing means she recovers and can heal afflictions, which is great. And she's sleep immune. So, all right. Um, our other guy is just a standard satyr commander. He also boosts satyrs, though. Um, however, it only takes the best of any of the bonuses. So you'll see um, only the best unit with this ability will be used for a single location. So we're going to leave one of them behind. Um, and I think it'll probably be him. Uh, just so that we can get our free recruits boosted. When you're looking at a military unit, you want to look at a few things. You want to look at their hit points, their armor, and their uh, damage. Um, hit points are pretty obvious. Uh, you run out, you die. Armor reduces damage taken by the amount of the armor. So he's got two armor, and he has a shield, uh, which is important to note because they can block another 0 to 1 or 0 to 2 against range. So he blocks two damage, and that's useful because, as you can see, he has two attacks. Both uh, do 1 to 4 and 1 to 3 damage. So, um, so that two armor would be deducted from each attack. Uh, now, if you roll max, uh, what happens is it's exploding die, so when you hit a 4, uh, that 4 then gets re-rolled, and you subtract 1 from that second die. So if you roll a 4 and then a 3, you would do 6 total damage. 4 from the first roll, and then 3 minus 1, which is 2, so 6. So that's a way to get past the armor, so there's always a chance a lucky unit could uh, punch through and kill something big. Uh, but it's very rare, although we did see a really big hit in my Senator playthrough, uh, which was quite amazing. But anyways, that's the basics of it. So uh, when you're first starting out, look at hit points, look at armor, and look at damage. The special rules will be useful later, and I'll point out the ones to look for for when those come up. Finally, we have our troops, uh, which are basically your satyr, and you'll see that there's slight differences between the two. These are your warriors. These guys have spear and hoof. Uh, they have the shield, and they have eight hit points. One thing to note is that they are berserkers, um, and that means that once they get hit and take some damage, they become stronger, so they're going to hit harder, and they can fight until they reach negative hit points. Um, so that's very useful. These are your javelinists. They're uh, an upgrade as well. Both of these are upgrades over the standard satyr. Um, so he has the spear and hoof as well, but he also throws a javelin. And what you basically do is you trade that uh, shield in for a javelin. So you're going to be less tanky, but you're going to do a little more damage with a one-shot javelin. So um, definitely a, a debate as to what you need. Uh, so you you got to decide what's best for you. All right. So we're going to take that army. And then uh, you'll see in the recruit, uh, it shows you what you can transform things into. So once we get a, a group of satyr, you have to get five of them. You can then upgrade them uh, from their standard, which is where they're just using, I think it's fist and hooves. Uh, and then basically you're going to arm them with spears instead. And give them shields, of course. and the, Or give them javelins. So, um, so yeah. And then minotaurs, you can see minotaurs are fantastic. And you can see 29 hit points, so over three times the hit points. And they do 1 to 17 damage with their battle axe and 1 to 8 with gore. So... They don't care about armor. I love minotaurs. I hope we can get them. The Harpy Scout will allow us to scout. Um, it has uh, acute senses, so invisible units will be visible on the map, or I should say uh, hidden units. Invisible is a higher category, and they won't be able to see them, but we won't worry about that now. All right. I think we've explained everything. I could get that scout. Hmm. I mean... We don't have anything to transform otherwise. So, yeah, let's get the scout. Harpy scout. We have just enough gold. Uh, this might be a mistake, but uh, essentially we're going to go ahead and we're going to attack. Which? Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. So that's the last thing I need to show off is special powers. These are your rituals. So you have the first three are pretty much standard for any ritual caster. It allows you to basically learn new rituals. So you'll be utilizing those to get what you need. 
Uh, so my level one ritual is create sacred grove. It costs 400 herbs. So as you can see, it's going to be a while before we can use some of these. And then create grove of Gaia, which is the higher level. And these basically give you access to more herbs. So basically, it'll turn an ancient forest into a sacred grove. Wait, did I? Wait. Oh, into yeah, sacred grove, and then grove of Gaia. So um, utmost potent. Oh yeah, that's right. That's why you want to upgrade. Not for the herbs, but because then it'll start growing creatures for you. So, um, satyrs or harpies will appear in sacred groves automatically, and then uh, we can plop the commanders on them. And then Grove of Gaia will just have a uh, increased number of creatures that gather there, so it just becomes even better. So, so that's what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to go ahead and take this because we do need gold. We have only the one gold coming in each turn. Uh, you, sir, are going to chill, but I'm not going to send... Eh, you know what? I should send for you. I'll just do that for now. And then that way we can do a spawn. So as you can see, we're empty now. It's just my lore, or my commander. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to end our turn, and we'll see where we're at. All right, battle in a coastal hamlet. Perfect. So uh, what you just saw is basically turn by turn. Everyone's going to move as fast as they can. These guys are battle fast, so they actually move two spaces, whereas everybody else will normally move one. And then they're going to do their attacks if they're in range. So they're throwing their javelins right now. And she's casting her spells. And then basically they're swinging. So as you can see, so she animated the one little tree that was there. Um... And then, uh, yeah, now we're just killing the uh, the last guy there. So, Oh, we had another little tree. So that's your coastal hamlet. So we got that now. We have it in our gold, so we're getting three gold a turn now, which is good. Um, all right. Yeah, there's no reason not to crash into this. Here's hoping we can convert one of the spiders. So spells are random, so you don't get control over what she casts, unfortunately, other than your selection of... Yeah, other than your selection of the spells themselves. So she didn't cast it, um, unfortunate, but she did bring a couple trees to life. And as you can see, we didn't lose anything. Oh yeah, and this is why we turn on battle reports, so you can see a um, sorting here. They've got new battle reports. Uh, let's see. Let's actually take a look at that, sorry. Uh, hit view. I think it did F1. There you go. So this is a new thing uh, for those of you who have been playing for a while and are, are watching. Uh, once again, thank you for doing so. This will show you a log of everything that happens uh, during the battle. So if you want to keep track of a specific unit, um, they're not numbered here, unfortunately. Um, but then you can hit F1 at any time and you can see. Um, oh, this just shows you the total log, I guess, here. So yeah, that Seder Javelinus you can then look at. Um, got himself a kill, kill, and you can see what the giant spiders did. So it's kind of neat. Uh, very useful if you're trying to figure out what's happening. Uh, we don't have any gold. So we get special recruit offers. Min Keeper of Traditions would have been fantastic because he would have allowed us to spawn some minnows, but uh, it is what it is. And as you can see, we got our first spawn. It's a little harpy. Not great. Um, but, you know. Slow and steady wins the race in this case. All right, we're just going to keep moving. Let's go ahead and select you. Go ahead and crash that. These dwarves are too much for our army. Uh, they have two armor and a shield, so they're sturdy. They hit for one to seven damage. These guys shoot for one to ten damage. Um, so only thing is that the arbalist has uh, only a shot every three rounds. Um, so not as scary but definitely they're more in a match for our guys they're going to punch through our armor no problem and we're going to have a hard time getting through theirs so uh, it is nice to have though because an iron mine gives you iron and gold and we need both of those so we will revisit them once we get some more troops battle enforced and we got ourselves a deer so perfect um we have enough herbs so let's go ahead and do the lesser ritual of mastery uh, not what I wanted, but uh, Bramble Fort can allow us to at least get some fortifications. Um, and as you can see, we're taking forests. They give us uh, the herb income as well. Uh, that is 
probably too much for us. This cast spells. That could be quite dangerous, so we'll we'll have to come back with force there. So we're gonna take force as we go, but we're also looking for points of interest as well. So, all right, um, let's go ahead and kill the deer. Maybe we can get someone to our side. And so I speed things up by hitting the S key. Yeah, so we got ourselves three more deer. We don't get to keep the tree, but the deer we convert from their side, so as you can see, negative three showing. So now we got ourselves some extra bodies. So mm, deers are going to be on the flanks. They only do one to two damage, so all they're there for is the six hit points that uh, enemies will waste uh, attacks on. So, And as you can see here, we're now up to th these guys uh, using their fists and their hoofs. As soon as we get to five and have 25 gold, we can upgrade them. Uh, since it's winter, if you hit I on a spot, you'll see that snow is reducing the gold income by 50% and herb income by 50%. Same thing with our coastal hamlet. So that's why our gold is now at 2 instead of 3. Uh, it is tracked on a percentage basis, I believe. Um, definitely. I want to keep moving out. All right. Yeah, we can see if we can take some boar. Or a little stronger. They do one to four damage, um, and they berserk as well, uh, as boars are known to do. So let's see if we get some here. Nope. Seder commander. Uh, don't really need one of those right now. Oop. Don't want to sentry you. That's what I accidentally hit. Okay, there we go. That's what we need. Need gold need gold because I need commanders. With commanders, I get more troops. It's just how the, the game works. All right. Coastal Hamlet. And what are we up to? Ten units here now. Okay. I'm not sure how it chooses when to spawn units. Um, it seems to be completely random. I thought it might be like every few months, like on a clockwork basis, but it seemed like it could be any time, so... Minotaur Lord, I would love to have you, but I can't. Okay. So we'll grab that. It's a brigand. Ooh, okay. That's Bile Magic Caster. I think we'll win Bog Beast. I wonder if you count as an animal. I wish there was a category that showed you what type they were. Uh, that's a wish list item for sure. Uh, these guys are Lizardmen. I really need to get back to my Lizardmen playthrough. I just haven't had the time I've been kind of uh, you know running through uh, other play or other things in in my personal life here um, hobbies and stuff as well as uh, of course you know just uh, holidays and everything like that so so maybe I'll find some time to carve it out to uh, to get back to that anyways uh, harpy scout keeper traditions for 59 gold we're so close um, and that's usually how they they do it they they'll they'll, they'll tease you it's like, oh, you could have gotten him, but, uh, oh, I don't have the iron anyways. But, yeah, they, they do that, you know, and then when you finally have the resources, uh, you, you don't see another recruit offer for months. So, oh, look at all that swamp. Swamp helps us a little bit, but it's not ideal because it's so slow. As you can see, it takes three movement to go. We only have three movement in a turn, so it's an entire turn. If you have less movement than you need to move to a spot, you'll uh, pay for it the next turn. So if I only had two movement left, um, oh, the lizard's attacked. And he casts poison, oof, venom, gotta kill him. There we go, okay. But we did get something out of it, but anyways, uh, yeah, so uh, stats. So, we got a Lizardman and a Bog Beast, but we lost two Deer, three Satyr, Javelins, and two Warriors, so... Uh, but we did get a Spell Scroll, so that's useful, I guess. Oh, boy. This is the Fellowship. <laughs> or at least our version of the Fellowship. Because uh, you got this White Wizard who casts spells. He's pretty good. You've got a Longbowman, um, probably with pointy ears. You've got your hero, 
and you've got your unexpected hero with the two-handed sword. So that's Aragorn and Boromir is generally how I do it. You got your dwarf, Gimli, of course. Uh, four hobbits. So, yep, that's, uh, or Hoburgers in this game. So, yeah, that's their fellowship. They're pretty cool. Uh, they've got magic items as well, uh, which is really good. Uh, Tablet of the Underworld. Oof, okay. I really need to kill these guys, but I can't. Trader's Medallion, that's free gold and trade each month. That, that would be great. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and set to buy iron for now until we can find a uh, trade. So we can't fight them because we did take some casualties. Although this Bog Beast is really powerful. Um, we just we can't afford to take those losses right now. We need to continue to gain resources. So we're going to hope they don't attack and take our stuff, but we'll see. Centaur Commander. Oh, do I have iron or do I need iron for him? I do. Dang it. Okay, but we are at 20 units now. So as you can see, this is filling up with troops that we'll go and pick up. Um Of the two, which do I prefer? Uh, we'll go with the warriors only because I need to keep them alive until I can get more. Ants are great if we can have them on our side. They're not so great if the enemy has them. So, okay. We'll grab this. We can take this iron mine and we'll have a source of iron. So that'll be helpful. Autumn's here. Alright, so we'll take this. This has only three troops, so we'll be able to crush that fairly easily. Um, we do have one, two, three, four troops right now, so we need one more. Alright. Alright, view the coal mine. Okay, a meteor crashed right through the clouds, destroying it, continuing downward. Struck in a plane. Okay, so not useful to us, but some classes like dwarves will uh, get gems out of those. So that's a useful thing for them to track. All right, at this point, let's continue heading back. All right. So let's transfer. Just four Seder, huh? Well, we're going to be stuck here anyways for a turn, so we'll wait. And we'll see if we can upgrade those Seder. But uh, our army did get much larger. Not much more powerful, but much larger at least. Um, so still four Seder. See, we didn't spawn any Seder in the time we were waiting here. Um, so that's unfortunate. However, let's go ahead and use our special power. What I'm looking for is some sort of animal ritual, if I could. So, there we go. Minor animal summoning. So let's show that off. Oh, I'm out of action points anyways. So I get another chance to get that last satyr so I can upgrade him and take him with. Satyr commander, not what we need. All right. Didn't get it. That's fine. Um, we want to show off the special power anyways. So now we got some rabbits. Um, rabbits are only one hit point. What makes them useful is they're tiny. So they get missed half the time when enemies attack them. Otherwise, yeah, they just block things from getting to your, your important troops. It's not the greatest. But, you know, I just wanted to show that off to you. I don't think we'll be wasting too much more time with that. Mm. Let's see. Let's do a ritual of mastery. Call of Gaia. So, um, calls upon one or a few of the best units available to serve the Dryad Queen. The more sacred the location, the more powerful the units that answer the call. So it can be cast in ancient forests in any sacred grove. So once we get to 400 herbs, we'll want to return home and cast that for sure. Uh, but for now, let's move out. We're going to go ahead and uh, continue to explore the map. Don't need the Harpy Scout. So now the forest, which normally costs us two, costs us three because of the snow. 
Uh, snow adds one to all movement costs uh, with only certain exceptions. Dwarves have snow moves, so they don't have to worry about it. So I'm just taking the forest before I go on and move out and explore. Uh, we definitely have the gold, and now we have the iron to hire a minotaur. Give me minotaurs. Nope, harpy scout. See, I told you, as soon as you get the resources in this game, they punish you. Giant spider, we'll go ahead and kill. Good. Coastal hamlet. Uh, we kept control of those. You always have to keep an eye out for uh, enemies taking your stuff. Sometimes you won't see them taking it because they're not visible. Alright. Um, so that's just something you have to take with a grain of salt. Uh, I want that ant, but... Uh, yeah, we'll just crash here. Uh, bandits are, uh, bandits and spirits are notorious. Ooh. Uh, we converted, uh, one of their guys. So confusion is a 10% chance if they're confused to convert them to your side. Uh, they'll actually turn loyalty. So in this case, we got ourselves an archer, so, which is good. Um, until we can get centaurs, uh, we don't really have access to ready archers. So, all right, so we'll do that. Come on, commander. Nope. Not even a scout. Okay. So we got a few things to take. But our gold income has improved now. So we can definitely improve when we get more recruits. Uh, like, let's see. what. Oh, no. There we go. So, yeah, we got enough to do an upgrade again. So we'll go ahead and do some more warriors. Javelinists may be a better idea against low armored troops and such because they do that extra damage. So you can kill them quicker. Um, I just like to have the extra survivability when I run into dangerous things. Uh, ants would qualify because they have 22 hit points, 2 armor, and they do this acid spray which ignores enemy armor. So, uh, But javelins don't do that much extra as well anyways. So Jadros the Markgraf has already been eliminated because their last commander was destroyed. So... Is either by another enemy or by the AI or just bad luck. It can be a number of things. So we lost a rabbit and a harpy there. So we got that under our control. So this is marching out, and this is dangerous here because they all have one armor. They do one to eight damage, so they're pretty good. More importantly, they have range. Uh, crossbow shoot every other turn for one to five damage at a range of five, so that can eat through our troops pretty quickly. Um, our spell casting isn't the best to go against those guys right now. Um, so, hmm. But they're going to come and take our stuff if we don't do something about them. So, uh, Do I rush in? I think we rush in. Take some casualties. Uh, so these are in fortifications. Uh, siege battles generally mean you're going to take losses because they have archers. And right now we don't have counter archers. So... Once we get some centaurs, yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to see. All right. Okay, good. That was actually went a lot better than I thought it would, so not bad at all. Harpy and a rabbit, I can, I can live with those. Okay. So, before I screw up, let's get our centaur commander. Our centaur commander, Okuligan, uh, gives us a centaur spawn boost, so he's not moving out. He's going to chill. Um, because now we can start getting centaurs here, which is fantastic. Uh, I love centaurs. Um, in the game, the centaurs are uh, male and female, so you get centaurs and centaurides. And your centaurides uh, and centaurs have different fighting abilities. Uh, your centaurides, I believe, get a javelin attack, uh, whereas your centaur will... Uh, um, stick with a regular attack when they are upgraded. When they're upgraded, sorry. And then your centaurs get longbows, which are a better version of the uh, centaurides um, bow. So uh, let's head back. We got 450, so we can do a summons, and we can pick up some centaurs once we get them here. Um, yeah, let's see. We got our first. So centauride. So she's got a regular bow, one to three damage. A longbow would be one to four, and they always get the plus one. So and it has a longer range. So the males are a little bit better um, in shooting for sure. So, um, But they have different upgrade paths, so there's there's benefits to, to having both. Um, let's see, wolves and animals. 
We can convert this ancient force. There's a lot of things we can do here. Okay. Matter of fact, it might be smart to do that. Um, all right. Oh. Just double checking. I'd love to see more centaurs, please. Yeah, and oh uh, yeah, that's the other thing I should say. Um, so, reason I'm so confused is it says a centaur spawn boost of plus two. Um, I think it just gives you a bonus to your roll, maybe for centaurs, because it doesn't give you a bonus to the number. Obviously, we just got one, right? So, um, so yeah, I'm not quite sure how that all works, but um, at the end of the day, it's uh, yeah, we'll take all of that actually. Okay, see, yeah, we got another two there, so that's that's fine. Maybe it's affected by winter. Maybe they don't want to spawn as many. Maybe their broods are smaller in the winter. Anyways, <laughs> let's go ahead and upgrade. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Well, we don't have enough for uh, satyrs. Uh, we're going to chill here for a little bit anyways. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, your herbs are also seasonal. Um, so you'll have better herb income, I believe, in the fall. Um, I always get it mixed up with the fungus and stuff like that. So something to keep in mind. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do Call of Gaia. Maha. <laughs> These guys are great. White centaurs have 25 hit points, one armor, and then they have two attacks. One to six with a javelin, one shot. Um, and then they do one to seven with spear, one to four with hooves. Uh, they have a shield. They're fast healers. They go berserk. Uh, these guys are fantastic. If you can get them in sufficient numbers, um, they're going to be very hard for enemies to deal with. So that's, that's amazing. All right. So we just got ourselves another harpy. Chill. Okay, so transfer, nothing new, spawned. Uh, that's the debate, right? Do you want, let's see, we're just looking at create sacred grove is 400, huh? Uh, that's going to take a while, so we'll, we'll move out. Uh, but uh, the question is, do you want a message or the ability to at least turn on a message uh, letting you know that um, spawns occurred. That would be interesting. Um, yeah, we can definitely take these guys on now with that front rank. Um, so we'll do that, and then I think we'll go ahead and call it here. All right, bumper harvest, summer. All right. Centauride. Okay, good. I just want to make sure I didn't accidentally take my leader. All right, yeah, so let's crash into this and we'll show off our new found army. As you can see, we've grown much larger very quickly, um, but we are gonna take some losses here for sure. So we lost five Harpy and a Seder Warrior, so pretty much okay with that. That is not a problem at all. But we're going to go ahead and call it here. As you can see, it is now... Oh, summer. Summer is the uh, plus 100%. So summer is the, the time to have um, uh, herbs. But yeah, so we'll go ahead and call it here. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, this will definitely be accelerating in the next video. So uh, definitely stay tuned. And I look forward to uh, seeing your comments. So uh, with that, I will catch you guys next time.